Hey, being the largest equipment company in the free world, our greatest asset's not our fleet, it's our people. And the Compassion Fund's all about our people helping our people here at United. In 2015, we were able to help 66 families with the Compassion Fund. And as the Region Vice President of Industrial, I personally got to see how seven of those impacted families within the industrial region. And you're getting ready to hear one of those seven stories about Tyler here next door at Z25. So I have two daughters. I have a five-year-old, Kaden, and I have a three-year-old, Caitlin. And they are the absolute loves of my life. They are like my mini-me's times 10,000. My oldest daughter, she wants to be an astronaut slash mommy when she grows up. And I asked her, I'm like, what is an astronaut slash mommy? And she's just like, well, I want to go into space, but I want to build stuff like mommy. And I'm like, this is why I love you. And they are, they are pretty amazing. They, would, they are what drives me. I was back in Texas after a divorce and I had a dead end job and I didn't feel like it was going to go anywhere. So one of my battle buddies told me about a veterans job fair they had going on in downtown Dallas. I went there, I was about to leave and this lady, you know, she was like, hey, what did you do in the Army? And I was like, it was a generator mechanic. And she was like, great, put your information down, come and sign this paper, we're gonna give you a call. And I was like, okay, give me a call for what? And she was just like, um, I work for this company called United Rentals and we have this program called STEP program. It's specifically for veterans, we train you, we give you a job placement. Um, we buy your boots, we get your uniforms, and I'm sitting here like, what's the catch? The STEP program, it was literally like going right back into training. You meet all these people that understand where you're coming from, they can, they can talk to you and they understand what it feels like when you weren't with your family for a year at a time. I left my daughter when she was six months old, so coming back home from Afghanistan, she didn't even know me. Coming in to this program, I was homeless. That was the first time that I found out about the kindness that they have in United. Um, my teachers found out that me and my daughters were sleeping on my best friend's floor for like two weeks and immediately put us in the hotel with the out-of-state people. I was in tears, I'm not a big crier, but um, <clears throat> we literally came from Georgia with everything that I could fit in my Jeep. Once I got started with the program and started working, here I come to Houston, I got the job in Houston. And I know nothing of Houston. I'm from Dallas originally, but I've never been here. So I immediately just try to get the first place I can. The girls are just excited to be in an apartment again. And then my hours get cut back. I have to work around my daughter's school schedule because I have no family here. And I don't really know a lot of people out here. I just started at this shop, so I didn't know anybody here enough to be like, you know, I need help with something. And then, you know, I've always just been a self-sufficient person, so reaching out to people and asking for help was just never something that I liked to do or did because I was just used to just figuring it out on my own. After a while of just being here, trying to, trying to stay above water, everything just started piling up on me. I ended up getting sick for like two or three weeks. I had strep, I had to keep going back to the ER. My insurance hadn't kicked in, so now they're calling me. I had like three or four bills from that, and then lights is coming up, food is coming up, car note, insurance, you know, just like day-to-day -day life stuff. Still got two daughters that they want to go here, they want to go there, they need shoes, they need clothes, and it just became overwhelming. I'm trying to stay positive at work, I'm trying to work as much as I can. I'm taking out loans to make sure that we have food for the month, and one month, it just, I couldn't make, I know I wasn't gonna make rent. I know I wasn't gonna be able to feed my kids and pay the rent on our apartment. So we ended up going to a um, women's shelter. It was a very hard time for me because of the fact that I didn't wanna get back to that place where we didn't have anything. Everyone noticed. I come to work and I'm smiling, and I'm always joking, and I couldn't smile. Couldn't say good morning, so work was difficult. I still made sure I showed up, but it showed that I was just stretched very thin. And for me, like I said, it was just going backwards when I've been working so hard to stay forward. It came about about Thanksgiving coming up, and 
that was really stressful because you don't know what you're gonna cook for dinner. You can't go anywhere. You know, I'm too embarrassed to go and ask people, can I come to their house for dinner? So I um, was talking to one of my managers about my Thanksgiving days off because my daughters are out of school and I didn't have any means to take them to daycare or anywhere. And um, he told me to call Judy Johnson and tell her about my situation. So I called her and that's when she told me about the Compassion Fund and she said that she would put in an application for me. I was just like, well, you know, if it comes through, it comes through. If not, I'm just gonna keep pushing and doing what I've been doing and try to stay as positive as possible. Like, it was the day after my birthday. I'm sitting in the car trying to figure out my life. And Miss Miller calls me. I see this Connecticut number on my phone. I'm like, is this a bill collector? I'm just gonna pick up anyway because I'm like, I don't have anything to give them. And she calls and she's just like, hey, I'm with the United Rentals Compassion Fund and you've been approved. And for a second, I was like, what? She was like, you've been approved for a grant and it's gonna be in your account tomorrow. And I was just like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, crying, oh my God, You're, are you for real? Like, is this, is this really happening? And I could not say, and, and she's just like laughing and she's like, this is the best possible reaction. And I was like, I don't even know if I'm reacting. Like, I'm just gonna stop saying, oh my God. And I'm just, I'm bawling my eyes out and saying thank you in other words that I don't think were English. It was like the first time in weeks that I took a deep breath. and that I exhaled and I felt okay. The fact that people that didn't even know me cared about what I had going on. They didn't want anything extra from me. They weren't like, well now you have to do two times what you do a week on your units. They were just like, we just wanna help you and make sure you and your kids have a great Christmas and a great Thanksgiving. And <laughs> it was the biggest blessing I could have ever asked for because I never thought that somebody would care that much about little old me and my two crazy kids. <laughs> Thanksgiving was bomb. <laughs> Me and the girls cooked all day, and the next day we were able to put up a tree. They were able to decorate it. That weekend, I got like almost all their Christmas gifts. They have all their gifts now, and all my medical bills, I got to pay off. I had to pay off all the loans. I got to get back in my apartment, and my daughters were, you know, they were asking me like, do we get to stay this time? And, I could like truthfully be like, yeah, we're gonna stay. You don't have to worry. It was just stability for me. And um, like I said, I could breathe. To everyone that is donating, God bless you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my kid's heart. You'll never truly understand what those few dollars a paycheck or a month or whatever you give means to somebody else that is seriously going through something. It's just a few dollars to you, but it's a meal to someone else. It's a, a new start for someone else. It's, it's air. <laughs> I'm gonna be somebody important in this company. Hopefully next year, I'm gonna be starting back school to finish my business degree. I make strides every day to learn from everyone around me, and I'm gonna be here. You're gonna know me. Just be ready.